Are you planning some long rides and want a bike that's going to offer comfort and steady handling? If so, you want to narrow your search to an endurance bike. And we've rounded up six of the best models that we've reviewed recently. Endurance bikes are made for non-competitive events like charity rides and sportives. They're also great for general road riding, club rides and commutes too, with some endurance bikes offering practical features like mudguard mounts. Now, what separates an endurance bike from a race bike is mainly the geometry. It's more relaxed and upright than a race bike, providing a relaxed handling and a comfortable fit. They're the perfect bikes if you're not racing. The frames are commonly designed to smooth out rough roads and isolate you from harsh vibrations. And they all have tyre clearance for wide tyres, which is great for boosting comfort and traction in mixed conditions. Disc brakes are also increasingly common as well, but some brands do offer you a choice of braking system. So, now that you know what an endurance bike is and why it's perfect for you, let's take a look at six of the best. The Cubertain GTC Pro Disc is an endurance road bike that offers an excellent Shimano 105 group set, powerful hydraulic disc brakes and a smooth ride, all at an attractive price of £1,699. Cubes Attain is a new model in its large range. It's built for endurance cycling with a pretty high front end for taking the strain off your back. Comfort is good too, a sloping top tube means you'll likely have plenty of slim seat post extending out of the frame. And the Shell of Cube's own Road Performance 1.0 saddle provides a load more give. It's a good looking carbon fibre frame with generous tyre clearance and mudguard mounts if you want added protection from the rain. The mounts are covered by plastic grommets, so if you aren't into mud guards, you hardly notice them, unless you go looking for them. The Shimano 105 hydraulic disc brakes capabilities give you plenty of confidence when descending, and the Attain GTC Pro Disc feels stable and solid at speed, with bumps and holds in the road doing little to knock you off track. So the Cube is a smooth riding endurance bike stable and well capable of handling at speed, with very good carbon fibre frame, Shimano 105 group set, hydraulic disc brakes, all in all it offers really good value for the money. The Paralane is a brand new bike from German brand Focus and ticks all the boxes for an endurance bike. Here's a bike that offers a fast and comfortable ride with a healthy dose of practicality and versatility. The smartly designed frame and fork is crammed with smart details that we really appreciate in an endurance bike. There's space for up to 35mm tyres, really opening up your riding options to include some light gravel and dirt road action. There are mudguard mounts for commuting and winter training rides too. And comfort is of the highest order, thanks to a clever seat post with a cutout that increases the amount of flex, letting the saddle move under you on rough roads. It really works too. As for the geometry, that's focused around a laid back ride with a higher front end and a longer wheelbase. And with seven sizes to choose from, there's a bike to fit just about everyone. Now, the best thing about the Paralane is how easy it is to ride, with none of the twitchiness that can sometimes make race bikes feel an intense experience. That makes the performance it offers very accessible, regardless of your level of experience or fitness, which is great. The Paralane is available in a wide range of builds and alongside the carbon frame is an aluminium version if you're into that. And that aluminium version is the one we're featuring here. With a Shimano Tiago group set, this bike costs £1,599. And yes, it does come with those mudguards as standard, which is pretty rare and we applaud Focus for that attention to detail. Not all endurance bikes are built to the same recipe, and this Boardman is a case in point. It might have endurance in the name, but it's quite an aggressive geometry for an endurance bike. That's great if you prefer your long rides with a large dose of speed, and if you do, then this might be the bike for you. The SLR Endurance Disc has a slightly higher front end and longer wheelbase to promote a slightly more comfortable riding position. The frame has been tuned to provide more comfort as well, with slim seat stays designed to provide some give and remove the worst road buzz. Boardman, like many others, has adopted through axles for use with discs. And, while many are going for 12mm front and rear, 
Borman has chosen 15mm for the fork and 12mm on the frame at the rear. Throw in a Shimano Ultegra group set with hydraulic disc brakes and FSA chain set and the Borman offers a pretty decent bill for the money. It compares really well to the other bikes that we've tested. The Defy is Giant's go-to endurance bike and it comes in a wide range of builds and price points but each is based around a design focusing on providing comfort and control for longer rides. This reasonably priced model offers a smooth ride thanks to a carbon frame and the assurance of hydraulic disc brakes. With the Defy, you have to want disc brakes because there's no rim brake option. That was ditched by Giant back in 2015. This model uses the now standard through axles of flat mount discs for secure wheel retention. Away from the disc brakes, the frame is designed to provide maximum comfort. A key feature is the D-shaped seat post that is intended to allow the saddle to deflect and absorb road vibrations. The Defy is at its best when getting in the big miles on less than perfect roads, and with the ability to take mud guards and wider tyres, it'll happily do that all year round. The model we tested with a carbon frame, Shimano Tiago group set and hydraulic disc brakes offers impressive value for money at £1,549. We know what some of you are probably thinking. Who are Simplon? Well, they're a long established Austrian brand that is now aiming to appeal to UK cyclists. And if the Grand Fondo disc is anything to go by, there are some good reasons to sit up and take notice. If you're into doing big miles, then the Simplon's Pavo Grand Fondo disc is a machine that you might want to take a good look at, especially if you want to cover those miles at near race pace. The Simplon devours climbs, descents, and those long, tedious straights with what feels like the minimum of effort from the rider. There are lots of nice details on the bike too. We like the generous tyre clearance and tube shapes designed to remove road buzz and 7.4 kilograms for this Ultegra spec model. It's a very light weight, which certainly helps on the climbs, an area where the Simplon shines. And to prove it, our very own Dave used it to tackle the mighty Stelvio. We also like that Simplon is available in a choice of builds and you can customize the exact build you want through their website, adding good value for money, 4,699 pounds and commendable performance and there's a lot to like about this bike. Another bike with Grand Fondo in its name. However, this time it's from a British brand with a very good reputation for smartly designed and well-priced bikes. With Ribble's Grand Fondo disc, you get a carbon fiber frame with endurance focused geometry and disc brakes, providing a good setup for knocking out long distance rides in comfort. The first thing you notice about the way the Grand Fondo rides is its neutrality. It's an easy bike to live with thanks to its long wheelbase and slack head angle. It's stable and planted, not twitchy and nervous like a race bike. The high speed handling doesn't have the same sharpness of a steeper, more compact race bike, but the neutral steering feel you get from the Grand Fondo is perfectly suited to the style of ride it's aimed at. Add to the top performance a range of customizable builds to suit almost any budget and you have a good contender for any endurance bike shortlist. And there you go, an assortment of endurance bikes to suit different budgets and rider preferences. We hope this video has been useful and if you have any questions about choosing an endurance bike, do stick them in the comment section below. If you like this video, then also give it a thumbs up to help out the channel and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week with another six of the best.